Hey guys, Mike Tendo here. I am trying out my Sharp Twin Famicom. Uh, for those of you who didn't hear, I did get a Sharp Twin Famicom fairly recently and a copy of Akamajo Densetsu. And in celebration of the 30th anniversary of Castlevania, I decided to sit down and play a little bit of this game. Now, audio wise, you may be saying to yourself, hmm, this sounds a little different. And that's because of the fact that this particular version of the game on the Famicom has a special chip in it. It's called the VRC6 chip. And essentially what it does is give the game uh, the ability to have extra sound channels that the Nintendo or the Famicom in this situation can output. So some of you are, may already know this, whatever. But I wanted to kind of sit down and play a little bit of this game because I really don't have that much experience with this version of Castlevania. And so I wanted to try it out, so I figured why not do a little bit of uh, Pixel Tunes Play Solo Edition. So let's go ahead and get started. Now there's no actual codes that I can put in in the NES version. You can put in help me and you'll get 10 extra lives or 10 lives. So I'm just gonna put Belmont, because why not? And we're gonna try to see how far I can get on one continue. So we're not gonna do like a full let's play playthrough, but uh, we're gonna give it a shot. See if I can beat it, which I doubt I can, but we'll see. All right. Music sounds so good in this. Oh boy. So, I can get pretty far in this game, believe it or not. I can get usually to like stage, like, I don't know, four or five, something like that, before I start really taking, taking a hit on lives. I never know where all the meat is in this game. I don't have this game fully memorized, so like I don't know where all the wall meat is. I don't know. I'm trying to remember in the NES version if those crosses are there. I don't think they are. I'm almost positive that they are replaced with something else, like a star or something. Because uh, this game, I believe, was censored, just like all the other games that were censored back then on the NES days. You know, I don't know what it is about this game. It's it's not a bad game. It's a fantastic game, but I, I just don't have a lot of experience with it, and uh, I don't know, like af after Castlevania 2, I started playing other games, and I just never ended up getting this game. Um, so I ended up getting Super Castlevania 4 after this, and I love Super Castlevania 4, it's one of my favorites. But it is essentially just a retelling of the first game, so, you know, a lot of people don't know that. But, uh, I mean, it kind of makes sense, because, you know, Simon Belmont and whatnot. Nope, nothing. Oh, oh god. Medusa heads are always my downfall. Nothing. Not anymore. Ugh. Always pains me to take damage in these games. <laughs> uh. This game just like really comes to life with this mu with the mu with the better music with the superior soundtrack. It's it's just like I, I don't want to say a different experience because that's silly, but it it feels like a different game in a, in a lot of ways. Just feels like a more like vibrant, richer experience. It's a shame we never got to hear these tracks the way that they were originally intended to be heard, at least in Famicom. Or on the Nintendo. Alright. Oh, that's different right there. You see that, that demon guy? Uh, I think that's a flea man in the original. There's some wall meat. So there's like little subtle differences. And I, you know, I gotta wonder why they changed it to a, to uh, the flea man or whatever. Um, was it like... 
I, I don't know, was it like something to do with uh, censorship because it's a demon and the thing, they, a demon? I mean, you find a bunch of demons in this game, so I don't know why they would change it to a little guy instead, you know, like Flea Man. But uh, yeah, the sprite is definitely, if I recall, it's, it's different. You like never see those power-ups for the rest of the game, practically, or at least that's what it feels like. Shit, I didn't want that. I wanted the axe. That's the problem that I have with this game versus uh, some of the later games is you drop the weapon and then, you know, the sub-weapon, and then you get a choice. Like, you know, you can go back and grab the other weapon if you want. All right, here's the boss, and I'm totally blundering this. not very smart. <laughs> See ya. Get him with the stick. Yeah, there we go. Alright. First boss defeated. Moving on. The cords for this controller, the Sharp Twin, are so short. I, I, the reason why I'm sitting like this and not, you know, on a couch or whatever is because I can't sit much farther. I've got the TV right here, right next to me, and the speaker's actually right next to this camera, so hopefully it's not giving too much feedback. All right, so we have a choice. We can go up to get Grant uh, Dynasty, or we can go down and get Sypha. Um, I'm going to go down. I always get Sypha. I don't know. It's not that Grant, Grant is really cool to play through the game with, but I don't know why, I just always go for Sypha. These are so tricky, these spikes, because it's like, you, you really have to just clear the path. You can't, you can't even go, like if I, see, perfect example. You would think that that hitbox would be like small enough that I could like go and, and, and not have to worry about it, because visually speaking, the spikes aren't there. So you're like, oh, okay, but like, they get higher than you, and you're like, okay, good, I can go, but then you try to go, and you die, so, <laughs> I don't know. Something there? Yeah. The thing I don't like about this game is that if you, if you, let's say you hit one of those blocks, one of these blocks over here, and then you move away, if you try to go back and get it, it's not there, which is extremely unfortunate. I don't know if they, if in two, I don't think in two that mattered. I think in one it did. Oh, nope. I want to keep this. Ah, the owls. You know, these guys aren't that hard if you really think about it. Um, you know, you see the eyes come out, and you know that something's there. And this boomerang power-up makes things, like, a heck of a lot easier, too, so... Oh, I tried. I like bouncing things with the boomerang off the other wall and then like having it come back and hit the guy on the opposite way, that's so cool. Never happens, really, in this one. Uh, it happens quite a bit in Super Castlevania 4. You know, 30 years of Castlevania, that's pretty crazy. I gotta wonder about Konami, like, do, does it even phase them? Like, do they even care at all that there's that they built this franchise that, you know, I mean, I know we care about it, obviously, but even, all right, you're a company, right? I, I get it. But, you know, it'd be like if, I don't know, it'd be like if Cheerios made Cheerios for, you know, 60, 70, however long Cheerios have been around, you know, a million years. And then all of a sudden they were just like, you know what? Cheerios aren't selling the way that we want them to sell. We're gonna shape Cheerios like, I don't know, like kicks, all right? So instead of Cheerios looking like Cheerios, they look like kicks. So, all right, sorry to interrupt. We're gonna go all the way straight 
instead of going down, down is to the, I don't know, wasteland or whatever. Uh, right is to go get Sypha. All right, so, Cheerios decides that they're gonna shit. Oh, one of the things I really hate about this game is that right there. And we are down to our last life. So Cheerios decides they're going to change it and make their Cheerios instead shape, be shaped and taste like, I don't know, some weird like, sh like strawberry kicks, let's say, right? It's like kicks, but strawberry flavored. And they're just like, what, you don't like this? No, I, I want, I want my, I want my Cheerios to taste like Cheerios. No, 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 we're not doing that anymore, right? So then, fans get upset, fans don't buy the games, or whatever, or maybe like some fans really like them, and at first they're like, oh, you know what, these aren't that bad, blah blah blah, whatever, for those Lords of Shadow fans out there. But a lot of people are like, no, I'm not buying Cheerios anymore, it doesn't taste like Cheerios, it doesn't look like Cheerios, it's a, like a totally different cereal, the only difference is that it's made with similar types of ingredients, like corn or whatever, alright? I realize I'm stretching with this, by the way. And... So, at that point, you gotta start thinking, alright, so am I gonna keep buying this? No, I'm not gonna buy it anymore. So you stop buying it, right? In hopes that they're gonna bring it back, right? Just like Pepsi did with, uh, or Coke did with, you know, new Coke, old Coke, whatever. Shoot, I really wanted to keep that. So, then all of a sudden, General Mills, the company behind Cheerios, is just like, you know what? Screw it. We're not making Cheerios at all anymore. And you know what? We're not even making cereal anymore. We're gonna make one type of cereal that's like, that sells really amazing. Let's say it's, I don't know, Frosted Flakes or, no, that's Kellogg's. Um, I don't know, uh, Lucky Charms, right? We're gonna make Lucky Charms and that's it. That's all we're gonna make. Okay. So that's all you're gonna make. And, you know, the, the people that wanted Cheerios are like pissed off and they want Cheerios. But it's not gonna happen. So it's like, you gotta wonder. I don't know. I, I know I'm really overthinking this and it's very silly, but I, you know, these are the things that I wonder about them. Like, it's not so much about the legacy, it's about the fact that you are, were making... Oh, great, I got an extra life. You were making a product and now you're no longer making it, so it's like... It's like, okay, so you're gonna move on, you're gonna do other stuff, right? So now they're making, you know, let's get back on topic instead of going with the cereal analogies. Now they're making, um... Pachinko machines. Okay, well, that's not really making them that much money. So, and now they're back in the console business, but they're making Metal Gear games that don't play like Metal Gear or look like Metal Gear. It's like, I don't know who works at Konami, but I feel bad for the just regular workers. Now, at this point in the game, you know, you're looking and you're like, oh, this is all Japanese. What's going on? So, Saifa is basically like, hey, I'm a, va I'm a vampire hunter as well. I'm a magician, mage, whatever. Uh, do you want to join me to join you? So, you could either say yes or no. So, I'm going to say yes. And actually, in the, in the US and PAL versions of the game, Saifa is uh, addressed as a male in-game. I'm not sure about the manual. I'd have to take a look at the manual to see if... Saifa is addressed as a male, but uh, canon-wise, Saifa is a woman, so it's kind of like a, I don't know, reverse Samus thing going on. This level is the bane of my existence. This is such a difficult level for me. I don't know why. Don't know. Couldn't explain it. I think it's these guys right here that, that do me in. Alright, I'll take that. That's the first time I think I've seen that power up in this. I mean, I've seen it in previous playthroughs, but I just always thought it was weird placement to have it there. And it doesn't really last that long. I, I always thought it lasted longer. Ugh. Okay. There we go. And it's like, you can't really use Sypha for this because she has such a short range. So I'd have to get like a power up or something, like a sub weapon. So for most of this level, at least I try to go through it as Trevor, or at least Ralph in this game. Yeah, Trevor's known as Ralph, uh, which I always thought was really funny. Cause he just doesn't, 
Are you gonna have a vampire killer named Ralph? That's kind of silly. <laughs> no, nothing against people with the name of Ralph, by the way. It just, I don't know, it just doesn't seem like a... Epically, epic name. It'd be like naming a vampire hunter Tad or Skyler. I don't know. It, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> All the people named Ralph are gonna unsubscribe now. <laughs> Or Tad, or Skylar. I apologize to all those Tad, Skylars, and Ralph out there that are watching. Is there something there? Nope. That was a big waste. And those hearts disappear so quick. All right. Never did understand like block four, black four, block four, up at the top right of the screen there. I don't know. All right, got a good power up now instead of the clock. Ah, yeah. Nothing, huh? Oh well. Such a like creepy haunting track. Can't get over there without Alucard. All right, a little Medusa action going on. Could pretty much beat her with. There we go. Super easy. Moving on. Those blocks blend in so well with the background. It's like they sh they really should have opted for <sighs> they they should have opted for a different color. They really should have. Colors in this game are great, like really gorgeous. Okay. <sighs> Did I want that? I don't know. We'll see. Some pretty impressive effects back in the day, too, for the... I, I think it was like scaling and rotating, which I, I don't know if the Nintendo had the ability to do too much of that. Um, or if it did, it was very limited. Yeah, the VRC6 chip doesn't do anything graphically, it's just for sound. Um, here we go. I'm doing really well on this level. I'm, uh, Like I said, I usually tank, like, tap out at this level. And watch, I'm gonna jinx myself, jinx myself now. <laughs> You never know, man. Personally, I'd like to see a Castlevania game kind of, I, I don't know, I don't want them to remake uh, Castlevania 3. That that was the big rumor going around that they were gonna remake Castlevania 3 uh, before, what's his, uh, before um, Mercury Steam stepped in. And I don't know how I feel about that. I feel like we need less remakes, and I feel like what they should have done is they should have released a, another new game in the franchise. I mean, the thing is, the, the games were getting more about magic and less about... Oh. Alright, gotta concentrate. Also, some of the enemies are weaker in this game, from what I understand, too. Oh! Ooh! Ha ha! Oh, that was close. All right, moving on. So yeah, I kind of wish that they came out with a new game that was, I don't know, 
kind of like Order of Ecclesia. I really liked Order of Ecclesia. I thought it was a good game. If you guys didn't see my top five misunderstood or uh, uh, underrated Castlevania games, uh, you know, go check it out because it was uh, a lot of fun to do. That was thrown together so last minute because I had totally forgotten that uh, that it was that day. And so I was kind of like, oh, but I got to throw something together. So I, I threw it together literally that night, like on the anniversary of the of Castlevania to for the 30th year just to you know put something out and uh, you know I thought the list came out pretty well you gotta be kidding <sighs> go figure I get I get to a part of the game that I'm never really that I never really go to and of course I start doing terrible and now I'm down to my last life. Again, remember, this is no continues. Just a, a single playthrough with a single quarter, if you will. I'm gonna die in some stupid way too. I just know it. I'm gonna like fall off a platform or something dumb. This reminds me a lot of the Super Castlevania 4 walkway when you're walking up the stairs. Sure, I'll take that. Why not? Ooh! <laughs> right. Okay, moving on. Let's see. These guys. Okay, I guess I had to turn around. All right, that's what I like to see. Get a little wall meat. Should have switched it up. Get some wall meat. The wall meat became less important as the uh, as the more like symphony style games started coming into play. I don't know. I kind of missed the wall meat. I mean, you would find it, but it was always like other items, or it, if it was wall meat, it was like, you know, that dumb wall meat that would only heal like a certain percentage of your health. Whoa. Oh, I, I think I remember. Ooh. Okay, serious. Can't go for every item. Nope, not getting greedy. You've got to be kidding. Nope. Oh. Oh, come on, give me something, anything. Go this way. Probably gonna be easier. Ooh! Things are getting intense here, ladies and germs. Uh, do I risk it? No, I was gonna go back down and try. I, I can almost guarantee that there's probably wall meat in there, but I'm not gonna risk it. got down here. Of course, weapon that I don't want. Awesome. All right. Really? Only shoots one? There we go. That's strange. I 
I got the hearts, may as well use them, you know? Oh! 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 You dirty, rotten game! Alright. Really, really need some wall meat. Doesn't look good. Let's see what's in here. Eh, whatever. Nothing? Really? Really game? Oh! Nice! Whew. Oh. Yeah! Eat it! Now is that it for the boss? I I'm gonna be honest, I don't think I've gotten this far ever in the game. Castlevania 3 or Akamajo Densetsu. So, fingers crossed, people. Fingers crossed. We got Cypher. Good to go. I'm not switching to Cypher. Uh, maybe I should. Yeah, why not? Let's show off Cypher. If I die, I die. Alright. Maybe I'll get a 1-up. Who knows? Need a power up. Nope. There we go. Alright. Yeah. Super powerful when she gets her magic. Can't remember if. Alright, so the water does pull you back. Good to know. Yeah, sure, why not. Ice! Oh, that's cool. That's way cool. That's pretty freaking awesome. You would think that it would kill everything in there, but... Oh, that's pretty cool. That's that's pretty handy. I didn't know if you freeze those uh, balls, the fireballs that you can... It's pretty nifty. Oh, oh. oh no! Oh. That's it, folks. Hope you enjoyed this little... Solo Pixel Tunes plays, let's play. That's gonna do it for me. Again, happy 30th anniversary to Castlevania. Akamajo Densetsu. Good times.